Damn, son, where'd you find this? today James? Yeah, I'm alright. You alright? Right. Yeah. day. <laughs> yeah. What do you do for a living sir? Uh, I, I recycle and um, I work part time at the recycling center. Alright, that's cool, that's cool. What is something you tell yourself every single day? What keeps you going? What wakes you up in the morning? <laughs> um, So what is something you tell yourself every day to keep you off of drugs and things like that? Um, I mean, you gotta, be a, you gotta be a positive force in the world. You have to be a positive force in the world? Yeah. What changes can you make today to make you a better person tomorrow? Um, continue learning. Continue working? Learning. Continue learning? What did? Observing. What was that? Constantly observing and learning. Constantly observing and learning. Okay. <laughs> what advice do you have for the younger generation? Um, uh, corporations aren't your friends. <laughs> corporations aren't your friends. <laughs> yeah. The okay. commercial industry can be very dangerous. Alright, so what was the highest point that you had in your life so far? Good, I had several. Um, um, I, I, I had one when I moved to, I lived, lived in Europe, I lived in Europe for a while. Yeah. Um, that was a high point. You lived in Europe? That was a high point in your life? That was, that was one of them. Um, what was your childhood like? It wasn't that great. It was. I mean, I I dealt with it okay, but it wasn't. It was a, a, a lot of arguing and fighting. A lot of learning and fighting. Arguing and fighting. Arguing and fighting. Yeah. Is there anything that you want the world to know? Whoever may come across this video, hmm? is there anything that you'd like the world to know? Anyone that might come across this video, like anything inspirational, positive for the world? Yeah. It, it's um. People, people think that the, the, the next evolution of, 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 of the world, or the evolving state of the world, is going to be like a, a, a new horn on our head or a new brain on it. But it, it may be that we're, we're more uh, uh, in a state of evolving like, like a, a, a cluster of cells evolves into a multicellular organism. Humans are that. Uh, so we're all across. part of something yeah. bigger. And, so each and every one of us uh, yeah. is one big picture and we're each yeah. one small piece of the pattern. Yeah, we, we need to learn how to love each other <laughs> so we can do that. Where's your favorite place to go in San Diego? I, 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 I'm going to have to say, uh, uh, that's difficult. Um, the ocean beach, the, the, the shores. Ocean beach? The, uh, what's it called? No, it's, it's you, know, you know when you go to the beach and then you Ski go beach? south. And it's a, it's, a, it's a sandstone, rocky area. Are you talking about Sunset, sunset Cliffs? cliffs yeah. Sunset yeah. Cliffs? Like Alright, me too. Same, same. Alright. Do you consider San Diego being your home? Uh, I, I do. Yes? I do. 
my, my family's elsewhere, but <laughs> I wish they'd come here. Well, I'm glad you got to speak to me today, James. Yeah. And what I will do for you today is I'll get your story told. And I hope to follow up with you again, okay? Okay. How are you doing today, Tim? I'm doing okay. How about yourself? I'm doing awesome. Thank you for asking. Oh, I appreciate James. you for doing this interview. Anytime. It really made my day 100% better. I hope so. What do you do for a living, Tim? Uh, right now, I'm on an I'm on my, uh, disability. Okay, okay. Right. Uh, what is something you tell yourself every single day? Oh, what I tell myself every day? Just keep on living, doing the best I can, just stay alive. It's all I try to do is stay alive every day. What changes can you make today to make you a better person tomorrow? Mm. Good question. Uh, maybe, um, maybe donate some more of my time to help the homeless. What advice do you have for the younger generation? Stay in school. Stay in school? Stay in school. What was the highest point in your life that you had so far? The best part, best part of my life? So yeah, far? the highest point throughout your whole entire life. Uh, when I first started, uh, when I first became a dancer. A dancer? Yeah, professional dancer. What type of dancing do you like? Uh, male exotic dancing. I was like a male stripper for 14 years. That's interesting. Yeah, it was cool for a while, but you can't live off your looks forever. Yes, sir. If that's your passion, you'll do it. Right. All right, so what is the life quote that you live by? Do unto those as you want done unto yourself. Do unto those that you want unto to yourself. Yeah, do unto those you want done unto yourself. Treat, you know, you get what you give. You give a little bit, you know, you get a little bit, you know. But it's not why you don't do it to get. But you just try and give the most you can and give, do the best you can to help other people the best I can. What was your childhood like? What, what do you remember? Uh, well, I grew up in New York. I grew up in the projects. I grew up in all... All, um... All black neighborhood. Uh, where I grew up in New York, and I, I, I had to learn to survive then, and it helped get me through the life that I'm going through right now. They taught me how to dance, and uh, I got into dancing and got music and got my rhythm, and was able to start my career as a dancer. Okay, and, that's actually really cool. I, I didn't I did know that, that about 14 you. years. Yeah. Where's your favorite place to go in San Diego? My favorite place to go in San Diego is IB. Imperial Beach? Imperial Beach. Nice, nice. Is there anything you would like the world to know? Any positive messages or anything that you would like to get off your chest to the world? Yeah. Do what you can for the people over in... Uh, uh, everybody should do a lot more to do what they can to help the people over in... in uh, yeah, over in... Um, Come on, what's the name of that place or whatever? We're getting them every day, they're bombing them every day, killing children. I want to help the people over in, uh... What's the hell's the name of the place? Over there, maybe? The place, uh, uh... North Korea? No, not North Korea, but the other one. North Arabia? No, no, the other ones. The, the Hungary, the, the Jews. I want to help the Jews. Um, I can't believe I can't think of that. It's in the newspaper I've been reading today. Europe yeah. is your, but it's part of Europe. It's where the calls them Nazis and they're not Nazis. And they're killing women and children over there. They want all that to stop. You know, the invasion of Ukraine, that's it. Ukraine! Ukraine, yes. I want to help people in the Ukraine the, the most I can. That would, that would be the highlight of my life to be able to donate some time to help the people in Ukraine. Because it's really bad what, what uh, President Putin's doing. To the people over there and they need us more than we need what we have we think we got problems we don't have no problems compared to those people or well, they're killing women and children and mass graves over there every day that they're burying people 
committing war crimes every day that, that Putin's a madman. It's a personal thing for him. You know, and I, I just want to help the people in the Ukraine the best I can somehow, some way, but there's not too much I can do. You know, but I, I, I that's what I want to do. I want to help the people in the Ukraine. Okay. Do you consider San Diego being your home? Yes. Yes, sir. There's not a better place to live in the world than San Diego. Okay. I've been in 43 states and most of the cities in them. And the weather's the best here anywhere. It's better here than anywhere in the world, anywhere in the United States. So it's beautiful here in San Diego. You can't beat it. The people are very, very, very nice. There's a lot, a lot of good people. There's some bad people, but it's mostly good people here. And there's good people. I just want to help the poor. I want to help any way I can. I'm, I'm, I've been poor. I'm still poor, but thanks to Pat, uh, they got me off the streets and. And I was on the streets for 15 years, and they finally came and got me off the streets, gave me a place to live, and, uh, and a place where I could afford to pay the rent, and they gave me a discount rent. So I'm off the streets finally, and I, 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 I praise them with, with the highest thank you that you can give somebody for helping me with Elizabeth and um, Dave over there at um, Path Home Finders. Okay. They're the, they're Dave and Beth? Help. They've been helping a lot of my friends and everybody get off the streets and they help hundreds and hundreds of people over there get them off the streets and get them to start being able to pay rent and just tell them, you know, you know, financially help them, you know, be able to pay a rent, get used to paying rent again and get off the streets and help the homeless is what they're doing and that's what they did to me. It got me off the streets and I never thought I'd see that day again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, I appreciate you, Tim, so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Pleasure's all mine. I appreciate that.